Hello everyone, I am Vijay Thapa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a demo of an online examination system that I created using PHP programming language and MySQL database. This project was created for a client while I was in final year of my college. So this was created in 2017 but this project is still being used in some of the educational institutions of Nepal. So without further ado, let's see the demo of this project. So I have already started my Jamp local server. Apache and MySQL is already started and let's see the demo of the project in our browser. So I'll go to the browser and here I will type the link which is localhost slash our project name is exam and if you click on if you go to the link of home url then it will redirect you to the login page uh, from here a student can type their username and password and take the exam or start the quiz uh, but uh, before taking the exam or before uh, seeing the demo of uh, front end let's see the admin panel where admin will manage all the students uh, questions results etc so to go to the admin page let's uh, go back to our url and our home url is localhost slash exam and to go to our admin section we need to type admin ad min and it will redirect us to our admin login page admin and login please log in to access control panel so i'll type my uh, username and password so username is admin and password is uh, password and login as soon as you log in you will see a login successful message so this message is uh, shown using session if i load it it will disappear so i have used session to display the message and here you can see the summary of the data so the first panel shows the total number of students second panel shows total number of faculties and uh, third uh, panel shows total number of questions and fourth panel shows total number of results so this is a minimalist dashboard uh, which shows summary only and here we have different sections that we will be checking thoroughly okay so i will go to first i'll go to the student sections so if you click on students uh, from here you can manage all the students so by clicking on this add student button you can add a new student so we have all the details like first name, last name, email, username and password. Username and password will be set by admin and they will be used to login. And contact, gender and faculty and this faculty is dy dynamically generated. So they are obtained from this uh, panel. We will see it a little bit later. And another most important thing is is active. So student will only be able to log in or take the exam only if there is active option is yes uh, and uh, the student can only uh, take exam once so after they completed the exam their option for is active will be no and they won't be able to take the exam again so if they want to take the exam again then they will have to contact with the administrator and administrator will turn this is active option to yes and they can give the exam again so the full control uh, will be available to the admin or the organization that is hosting this system so they can ask for payment uh, and they can take the exam again so for each exam they can charge some small amount of fee okay so that's the purpose of adding this is active section so if you want to add a new student then you can fill all the details for now i will use a plugin uh, i am lazy so i don't want to type all of this so i have a font uh, or fill all input extension so when i click on this extension it will fill all the details for me so we have username let's see let's give the uh, username as std and student 2 and i'll copy the say all copy control c and paste the password here control v uh, sorry control and v so username and password are student 2 and student 2 and to be able to give the test or take the exam 
uh, their adjective should be yes and we can add the student so we have uh, this student and we have this student uh, this student's detail is username student password student is active is no okay so from here you can update the details of the student by clicking on this button you can change it to yes you can change the faculty uh, GRE etc and update the student and it will be updated successfully similarly you can also delete uh, by clicking on delete button when you click on delete button uh, there will be a pop-up which says are you sure and if you click on cancel it won't delete but if you click on ok it will delete the student so that's it for our student sections let's go to the faculties and if you go to the faculties here we can add the faculty as we can see we have GRE and GMAT and I'll click on add faculty and we'll talk about it in detail for example here we have faculty title faculty title here you can do faculty title like ILTS time duration let's say in minutes time duration in minutes so you can give like 60 minutes and total question per set uh, you can set let's say only 15 question and since uh, this application was made uh, for GRE and GMAT test so each GRE and GMAT test has uh, a specific number of English uh, questions and a specific number of math questions so uh, one examination may have like say 15 uh, total questions and among 15 questions uh, they might have like uh, 5 English questions and 10 maths questions so you can set the uh, different uh, number of English and math questions here so this was made for GRE and GMAT so but if you only have one options like only English or only math then you can make it 0 and you can make it total of 15 so you can do vice versa so that's it so this was made for GRE and GMAT so we have this option if we had made for common examination system then we may eliminate these options but for since uh, the this was client's requirement uh, to have a uh, different number of english and math questions instead of getting random questions uh, they should have a specific number of english and a specific number of math question that's why i have added these options and as uh, we had on our student panel we also have uh, is active on faculty as well so if I click on is active uh, then this will be shown while adding the student so while adding the student you we had the options of selecting the faculty here now you can IELTS as well as we have seen uh, update functionality for our student section we can also update our faculty so if we click on update button for faculty you can change all of the things like a faculty title, time, questions, total number of questions per set, total number of English question, total number of math is active, etc. And you can also delete uh, the faculty as earlier. You can click on OK to delete. If you click on cancel, it won't uh, delete anything. And another thing we have is questions. From you here, uh, from here you can manage all the questions. You can add question, you can update question, and you can delete question. So let's go click on add question button. And here, so, so the first thing you will see is questions. And here you can add your question. And you can add all the symbols for mathematics, etc. Since we have a rich text bar, I have added CK editor for this option. So let's say this is a question. You can add percentage, five percent, like H two O. This is water, so H two needs to go in bottom. So you can add this as well. So this can only be done by this rich text editor. So we have this option, and here, if we have any graph, then you can upload. Uh, the image uh, for the questions as well for example i will upload this this uh, image so i'll click on open you can upload the image here and for every questions there will be five different options so first answer like uh, let's say uh, 
this is water and you can see a lot of other things like control v control v control v let's say last one will be known and this is metal this is let's say uh, air this is let's say uh sorry it's supposed to be solid so the question for five percent has to this is water this is solid these are the options i i made it randomly and here you can you have to select uh or this is the last option which is none and in answer section you have to select which one is the right answer so i will select the first answer so first answer is the right answer so i have selected first answer in the uh answer section so this is the answer so you have to select which option is right and here this is the region section so here you can uh, add the reason for that answer to be true so as two o is water so the first option is true or correct so like this you can get the reason for the first option to be true and you can also like uh, our question section you can also make it more beautiful using this rich text editor and here you can also assign mark uh, for every question so this may be for one marks one marks questions this may be two marks or three marks it depends on so uh, different questions will have different marks and similarly you can also assign category whether is it it is a english question or it is a math question so you can select this option as well and you can also select the faculty so here we have two faculty which is gre and gmat so i'll select one and similarly as earlier we have is active section as well so if we set this is active property as yes then this will be uh, displayed while taking the exam by students but if the if the is active option for this question is no then this won't be displayed on uh, student section while giving the exam okay so let's add the question question added successfully let's uh, see the question or as earlier we can update it so the he, here is our image we have uploaded and here is our question you can add something and you can change all of these things uh, i will just update is active and i'll click on update question so question updated successfully as earlier you can also delete uh, the questions but i want to delete uh, this for now I'll click on cancel so we have seen the question sections and if you go to the result section so here we have our result section so for now uh, we do not have any results so when the student uh, take an exam the result uh, will be shown here and we can review the result for every student okay so we will take the exam uh, in a while and then we'll check the this uh, then we'll check this section so that's it so this is our result section and we have our settings as well from here we can change the password for our admin login uh, since uh, this was a single admin uh, system uh, based on the requirement of our client uh, we do not have other we do not have an option to create other admins or other user uh, to access this admin panel so from here we can change the password of our current uh, admin okay so this is it so this is our uh, admin section of our online examination system now we have already added one student let's see its credential so the credential is username is student2 and password is student2 okay so now i'll log out uh, okay so it shows are you sure you want to log out and click on ok and this log out successfully now let's see the uh, front end sections where user uh, where student will take an exam so i'll go to the url and open the front end so localhost slash this is exam and here we can type our credentials which is student student two and password is same so i'll just copy and paste it here and uh, we can click on login to login 
so here you can see login successful message so this is based on session but uh, this is uh, notice so I will refresh it uh, hello student 2 here we can see the username of the student and uh, welcome to the test preparation portal and here this is a message box uh, which shows the rules and regulation to take the exam like this is automated automated test and you won't be able to return to previous question uh, once you uh, uh, check the options and click on submit you cannot come back and uh, once you successfully log in you can't log back only unless the provision of the system administrator once you log in uh, if you log out then you won't be able to log in again because this is a single time user authentication so once login you have to take the test uh, but if you do not take the test and log out then you won't be able to access again uh, and if you want to log in again then you will have to contact the administrator and uh, the third uh, option says that uh, after you click on take a text button then timer will start so countdown will start and when the uh, time is off then you will be log out automatically so and here we have last uh, questions so this is for english and math questions so it says english questions will appear first and after you finish english you will be given math questions so this is the last option this is only for gre and gmat uh, test so that's it and when we click on take a test so here we have our first question and here you can see the detail of the user user name is Skyla Sexton faculty GMAT start time is start time and here we have end time as well and here we have counter once the counter is stopped or the time is over then the student will be logged out successfully or uh, student won't uh, be able to go to the next question and to uh, go to the next question student have to uh, select at least one option without selecting the option the student won't be able to go to the next section so i will select one option for now then submit and next and then student will get another questions and here questions are selected randomly if uh, five or ten or many students are giving the exam at the same time this number of question will be selected randomly so the question will be different for different student so if i am getting this question on a number two and then, and then uh, another student may get this same question at number 10 and another one may get at number 20 another one may get at 12 so the questions won't be same for all students so this is one cool feature for this examination system and here i will select again under one submit and next and here i will read the paragraph and i will select one submit and next again i will select one and submit and next again i will select one and submit and next and again i will select the one option and I click on submit and next so the questions uh, will be displayed based on the number of questions that is set uh, on a faculty so if a faculty has uh, 10 questions per set then 10 questions will be displayed and also based on english and number of english and math questions the questions will be displayed so if they have a total number of questions of 10 and 5 are english then 5 are and 5 are math then the questions will be displayed based on those conditions so i will select this one and click on next uh, we have two minutes so i'll click on one option submit and next so i have got 430 so out of total full marks i don't know what is the full mark of gmat test but i have got 430 and if i click on view results so uh, we have used a special uh, calculation method for each of the value for GRE and GMAT test so uh, this is the score I got and if I click on view result then I can see the detail uh, result for my exam like this was the questions and I selected this answer but the correct answer was this and this is the reason for this answer to be correct so similarly I can see all the detail of our system so here we have the system so 
that's it so that's it i can go back or i can log out so here we have the log out option so we can log out we can click and log out and since i have completed the exam now i cannot go back and give the exam again so if i want to give the exam again then i will have to con contact to the administrator and then they will turn the exact option and then only i can give the exam so i do not have any other option so i have to click on log out and log out of the system so i'll click on log out and we i am successfully logged out so here we have the login and if i try to log in again with the same credentials and it will say username or password is in is invalid so if we go to our admin section and see the is active option so the is active option is already no we can see the result so here is the result and uh, we can see the so uh, the student actually got the five marks but uh, based on the calculation uh, we made uh, for this special examination examination system the student got 430 out of total marks and if we click on view we can also see the detailed result from here so this is it so this was the result this was the questions and let's see the student so since it is no we can turn this to yes and update student and only then we can log in so i will log in again login login so here the students is login and its status is yes so if i quit then its status will be no so this is it this is a full control for admin so this is it guys and as i said uh, in the starting of the video this project was created in 2017 while i was on um, while i was still in college and was in the level of like intermediate level uh, and uh, to create this project i did not use any framework of php i created whole i created this project in a php oop object oriented programming so the, it has a legacy code base so this project had uh, has lots of limitations and i have already written an article or a report on limitations of this project and also why why i call this project as a failure and i have also written uh, some strategies to make this uh, project better so if you want to uh, read if you are interested and want to read that article then i'll put the link in the description so that you can visit and read about my article and read about the limitation of this project or strategies to make it better so i will also put the link of the source code of this project in the description so you can explore or use it however you want and if you are a developer and want to make better version of this then i will uh, i will request you to make uh, some project uh, a better version of this project and make it available on open source committee if possible otherwise uh, make better version and you can also sell uh, charge or sell to some educational institutions out there uh, because due, uh, because of this pandemic situations uh, this type of system like online examination system or assignment system are uh, very much required by educational institutions so grab this opportunity and try to be more helpful to the community uh, take benefit of this uh, time and do some project so that's it guys i hope this was not too boring and if you want to see more videos from me or want to learn more uh, or want to see more tutorials from me then please click on that subscribe button and also if you think uh, such projects or such tutorials can be helpful to others then don't forget to uh, like this video and also share with your loved ones so this is it guys i will uh, see you on new tutorial or new video till then stay safe take care see you soon bye bye